Creatures of the Night. This was um, my first short film released in March of 2018. It was technically written and directed by me, although it was not written at all. It was entirely improvised. And um, it, it, I guess in the sense that a found footage film can be directed, um, it was directed by me. Uh, I, I, re I realized recently that found footage films are directed not in a traditional sense like a normal movie would be directed. Uh, I think it, it's more in line with what a producer on like a reality TV show would do. Less like planning out shots and like writing, writing scripts and stuff like that. Although I'm sure that, that, that some found footage films do that. But it was more, um, from, what, from what I tell, can tell looking at behind the scenes of movies like Blair Witch and stuff like that, it's more um, just sort of like feeding the actors information and then, because they're also, for a lot of it, they're also the camera operators as well. So it's sort of like um, working with the actors and kind of not really directing them more, just giving them putting them in the headspace of what you want and then hoping it turns out the way you want it. Um, that's a whole other tangent though. So I'm not sure how we got in contact with these people, but there was a film intensive in um, Spokane, Washington. And um, they said, you can, you can come be, be part of our week long uh, film intensive, uh, but you have to film a short first. And so I, I all I had was a, um, a smartphone, which at that point was probably like 10 years old. It was, it was really old. The front camera didn't work, which is why I used the back camera for the, for the short. I, I hadn't watched very many horror movies at that point, but I was kind of aware of it. Like I was really interested in watching videos about horror on YouTube, specifically like, um, dead meat. I was really big into dead meat at the time. Still am. Um, but but I, I was too scared to actually watch the horror movies themselves, so I'd watch people talk about them online. And I was like, you know, that's a very interesting concept, but I, I, I think I'm too scared to actually watch a horror movie. So uh, that was years ago. I've seen like 200 of them since then. I fucking love horror movies. Uh, but anyway, this was back then. Um, so yeah, I, I knew all the references, which is why in that in, if you go back and you watch it, um, I'm just shouting out a bunch of random references like Five Nights at Freddy's, Pennywise, you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, also, I don't, I, this was the, there's, there, it was completely improvised and also found footage. So there was actually multiple versions of it. The version, the main version, the version that's on, on this channel is um, the second take because I did two version, two takes of it because I didn't know if the people in Washington would be okay with me swearing. Cause I actually, I said, I said, I think I swore in the original, in the first take. So the first take is the alternate version, which is not on this channel, it's on a different channel. I'll link it in the description, but um, it's a little bit longer and because it's improvised, the lines are different, but it's pretty much the same, same thing. Um, yeah, cause, cause I didn't, I didn't know how to write a script. So, but my um, experience, was uh, I had some acting experience at that point, and um, it was mostly improvisational. Like I, I had been in some. There was this thing for uh, vacation Bible school. This was probably like two thousand nine. It was a long time ago. But um, they basically they they'd cast you in the role. They'd say, "Here's your character." Um, Here's kind of the, what we're doing with the scene. They didn't, they didn't write any scripts down or anything. But they'd tell you who your character was, they'd tell you the, the point of the scene, and they just let you go. Um, we, were, we, were, we were really young at the time. And um, yeah, that was my experience with acting. It was just kind of, just sort of, you know, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do, and so we just kind of did it, and we got there eventually, which is... Um, what I did with, with Creatures of the Night is what I'm doing right now, actually. I didn't write anything down. I'm just sort of spitballing. Which is, so that's how we're sort of um, creatively where my default is, I guess. Where it's sort of like I have a general idea of what I want to do, but I don't exactly know how I'm going to get there. And that's sort of where the creativity of it comes from, I think. And, you know, that's how I, that's how I write books. That's how I 
write scripts. That's how I film videos, you know? Yeah, and, and so then uh, let's talk a little about the film intensive, I think, because that's important for this, for this, for this video. We, um, it was a week long. The first couple days were sort of introduction to filmmaking, I guess. They sort of broke down all the different positions. The director, this is the producer, this is the DP, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so they kind of broke that all down. I don't remember what the second day was. There were two days where we did something. And then Wednesday and Thursday were the days we shot. And uh, the film we shot was called Descent, and I don't remember the name of their YouTube channel. I think it was it was originally called Abundant House, but I think they changed it. I don't know. I might li I'll link it below if, if I if I remember what it was. But um, it was a sci-fi thing, and um, yeah, I learned a lot from that experience. Yeah, and so so we we filmed on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Friday we showed all of our short films. So uh, there was like about 20 or 30 students there and um, all the short films that we, 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 we submitted to the intensive we were showing, we had like a, a showcase. And, um, and mine was one of the last ones, which, I, was, which was kind of <laughs> uh, good for me because um, I had seen, I wasn't really, I mean, a lot of artists have these things where they make something and they're really insecure about it. I never really had that, but at the same time, I, uh, I was very realistic about, about what, I, what I had, and it's about, about Creatures of the Night, and it's, you know, it, 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 I didn't have a script, I didn't know what I was doing, I just sort of rawed out the whole thing. And so, you know, I was like, I, it's not great. Uh, but it was one of the last ones, and um, watching all of the other students, and some of them may be watching now, so I don't mean to take this offensively, but I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is fine. Creatures of the Night is on par, if not a little better, than some of the other things that are there. So it was, it was one of the last ones, and um, watching it with all of these other people there, I was kind of surprised because everyone was laughing. I was like, why is everybody laughing? Um, so after the whole thing, people were like, oh yeah, it was so good, it was so good. Um, I was really scared, it was also really funny, and so I was like, I don't know... I don't know why. I still to this day I don't it was never my intention to make it a comedy, but I guess it was just you know, that ex it was just sort of the improvisation of it where I kind of relied on 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 comedy, you know, just to fill the space. Un unintentionally, I wasn't even trying to. Um and also what I learned then is that uh, horror and comedy, they're, um, they're, they're, I think, I like to think of them as sisters, you know, they're both, uh, very independent, they're both, you know, clearly, like, different things, but there's also, they have a lot in common underneath the surface. One thing that, that is, is it, it w was true of everything, from the first four, which at this point I've only shot four, um, of all of the ones that I have directed, I guess, written as well, of all the short films that I've written or directed, it was always in um, response to somebody asking for it. Um, you know, for, for this one, it was the, the people in Washington who wanted the film. Or, um, you know, for, for some of the other ones, it was like, oh, my aunt wanted something, or my friend was like, hey, we need to do this, or, or for school, or whatever. Um, so I, I guess in that sense, it was always one for them, you know, the one for me, one for them thing. People are always like, hey, I need, I need something, and then... Uh, but the thing with the first three, and I like to think of these first three as a trilogy, uh, the Backyard Trilogy is what I call it in my head, and um, is, is that they never really gave me any sort of parameters or just like, hey, make a film. So, so that was kind of, a, kind of a blessing in its own, its own, its own way, is that I kind of do whatever, you know, with, as long as I didn't... <laughs> spend any money or anything like that. I kind of do whatever I wanted, which is how we ended up with this one. It was just, you know, entirely made up. I just sort of had my phone and I was like, okay, I want to end up in the treehouse and I want him to, the character, Wes, Wes Craven, I named him, which is really funny. Because uh, again, I hadn't seen any of his movies at that point. I decided, oh, he's the guy that did Scream. I'll name him after that. 
But anyway, I wanted the character to 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 start obviously in the house, and he was this kind of person where um, he just really wanted to, to 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 get people to watch his videos. That was like the one thing he wanted, and so he was doing like a house tour. He's trying to you know do trends. At that point, it was trendy to do house tour five years ago when I was filming this. Um, but then he kind of heard something happen outside, and he's like, oh, let's follow that. And uh, so he's obviously recording because he wants to go viral. Uh, and then he ends up dying trying to, trying to get that. And so that was kind of the outline of what I had in my head, and I sort of just made up everything else as I went along. Um, which is, it's, it's the same, it was at my grandparents' house, it was the same treehouse where we shot um, Don't Scream, which was, which was a year later at the same tree house. And um, that was, well, we'll talk about Don't Scream next week. I remember a lot of people were talking to me about how like, oh, this is, this is very reminiscent of Blair Witch and I haven't actually seen Blair Witch until very, very recently. Well, great movie, by the way. Um, but you know, that was like the thing. And I haven't, at that point, like I hadn't seen any horror movies like that or any found footage. If there's a found footage, that's, that's not a horror movie, I'm not sure. But I hadn't seen either of those at, at the point of, of filming this. I just sort of was generally aware of what it was. And so I just sort of made it up. Um, that was everything I wanted to say about, about this, Creatures of the Night. After I, after I stop recording, I'll probably think of a bunch of other things. But, you know, that was it. Um, I guess there's never really been somebody talking about what this channel is. And so what we want to do is me, myself, and a group of other... Filmmakers from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. There's about five or six of us and what we're doing here is we're releasing all of our short films But we're also putting out uh, Videos like this where we kind of break down our experiences making those films and we wanted to To help other people I guess who were in a similar situation kind of Learning how to to do it themselves. Uh, we call it raw dogging or we just sort of make it up as we go along and um that's what we really wanted to do here is we wanted to not only show our journeys because as we're releasing our films in chronological order and also having a, having a video breaking them down at least on that during that same week of the video's release. Um, so so we're sort of you can kind of track the evolution of us, but also you can sort of like have like, okay, so this is how they did it and you can kind of adapt our method or not, you know, learn from us as in like, let's do something they did or let's not do that. You know, it's sort of just an example, being like, this is what we did, and you can follow it, or you could not follow it, or you can do what we did, or not do what we did. And, and, and so that's what's going to happen here, and for the first couple of weeks, obviously, it's my films, because I, film, I shot three um, in, in 2018, 2019, I shot three short films. And uh, after that, we're going to go, Tazio did like 10 or whatever, I don't know. And then we're pretty much caught up to what we're doing now. So that was what we want to do with the channel, and um, we also have a Patreon, which you, there are different tiers, and for one dollar a month, you can uh, put your name in the credits, and one with with an asterisk because uh, obviously all the first like twenty or so films have already been made, so your name is not going to be in the credits of those because they've already been made. But 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 your name will be in the credits as an associate producer for any of the future films that we're currently making or will make in the future. Uh, and then there's also a $5 tier, which is uh, you also get the associate producer credit, but you also get access to, to behind the scenes documents like a script, um, shot list, you know, things like that. And the, specifically, those are for things that have already been made. So as soon as you get onto that tier, you'll have access to all the scripts of the stuff we've already shot, you know, all the, all the documents for those films. You can kind of see, like, like I mentioned in this video, I didn't know how to do a script. And so like, we, you can have the script for the things we shot, so you can kind of look at it and watch the video and be like, okay, this is, you know, that's what's happening. So you get a general idea about how all those documents work. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's the train police. So I hope you subscribe and um, you know, contribute if, you, if that's something you're interested in. I will uh, see you next week with Don't Scream.